Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. I am back with a Valorant fix video. To those who asked for my Discord, I've provided the link in the description. If you are getting errors even after watching all my three videos including this, then you can post the screenshot in my Discord channel. So that the community can help to fix the issue. Without further ado, let's begin today's video. There is an anti-cheat application called Vanguard, which runs in the background while playing Valorant. In case if there are any issues with Vanguard, we can troubleshoot it. To check it, go to Task Manager. If your Vanguard service is in automatic mode, you will see it in the Task Manager. Currently, my game is not opened, but it is showing as a background process because my startup mode is automatic. If you want to remove it from your background process, then, go to Services. Here you will find a service called VGC. This is currently in running state and the startup type is automatic. You can see that in my Windows startup options, it is disabled. So even if you disable it from startup apps, it will still run if the startup type of the process is automatic. To remove the background process completely, go to services, right click on VGC. Select properties. If the startup type is automatic, change it to manual. Stop the service if it is running. Now, if you go to the task manager, you won't find it. So with this change, the vanguard won't run in the background without running the game. Let me show you. When you start the game, first, it will start the riot client, and then when you enter into the game, it will start vanguard. If it is not running or having any kind of starting the service, you can start it manually using the start the service option. If the vanguard is not working properly or causing any issue, another way to troubleshooting the vanguard issue is by uninstalling the vanguard app. For that, go to apps. Search for vanguard. This is the app. Click uninstall. It will show a warning pop-up saying that the game won't respond. Ignore it and click yes. After uninstalling it, if you go to services, you won't see it there. You can reinstall the app by simply opening Valorant. After installing, it is mandatory to restart the PC. I will show you one Vanguard error. I will show what happens when the Vanguard is installed, but disabled or let's say, not working properly. My Vanguard is running properly, so I am disabling Vanguard from services. When I try to run the app now, it will check for Vanguard status, it is installed, but in the disabled state, so it will show VAN81 error. I moved the game files to the program files folder in C, only for showing the method. I won't recommend this location. Because, when I tried moving here on my laptop, and also on my brother's laptop. Most of the time, I faced temporary errors and issues, so I would suggest moving it to an external folder, rather than using a system folder. To those who didn't watch my previous videos, here is a quick tutorial on, how to move game files from one location to another location, without any trouble. Whether it is to same drive, or different drive, or different PC, it is the same method. First, create a new folder, if you don't have a destination folder. Let's name it games. Now, go to the current location of Riot Games. Cut the folder. Paste it into the destination folder. In my case, the games folder. Now go to Valorant app properties. Edit the target and start in location. In my case, the drive is same, only the folder is new. So I will change the folder section. If you are moving to a different drive or folder, change it accordingly. That's it. Sometimes, when you move it from one location to another location, you might find this option in Riot Client. And when you click the already installed link, it will show an error, but don't worry. Click the install option. This was my previous location. To change it to the current location, click the folder icon. And select your current Riot Games folder location. Then click install. 
Now it will verify the files. Done. If it is showing any kind of error, simply restart the PC. That's all for today. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.